Why Harvard Hates Keto So Much Did you know? The number of Americans following the keto diet has increased from 10 million in 2018 to 23 million by the start of this year. This is a phenomenal growth for any diet to be followed by that many people. But the interesting thing not many of us know is the even higher rate at which these people quit keto afterwards. Now why is that happening? I absolutely love my keto diet. So why do people quit keto after starting it? Which diet they are finding more comfortable for the long run? Well, I also had the same questions in my mind, and I turned to the most authentic name in the nutritional sciences domain to get the answers. I went through all the research and studies published by the Harvard University during the last five years in this regard, and I was really shocked with what I found out. Based on the findings and publications from Harvard University, there is a huge tilt towards intermittent fasting as a more sustainable and potentially healthier long-term diet plan as compared to our beloved keto diet. Dr. Eric Rim, a professor at the Harvard University, says, The keto diet may lead to weight loss, but it's not advisable in the long term due to its high saturated fat content. And on the other hand, Dr. Frank, another professor at Harvard, notes, Intermittent fasting holds promise for individuals looking to lose weight and improve metabolic health. Now this does not sound too pleasing to a die-hard keto follower like me. But our opinions should not totally be based on our feelings and emotions. We ought to give the Harvard research some consideration. So, irrespective of our own choice, today, rooted in Harvard's analysis, we elaborate to you the five compelling reasons nudging nutritional enthusiasts to consider the potential superiority of intermittent fasting over keto as a better long-term sustainable healthy diet option. This is Shape Squad, your trusted partner in nutritional health and fitness, starting off on the five key points from Harvard. Number one, heart health risks. The keto diet is often recognized for its high fat, low carbohydrate formula, which aims at achieving weight loss. However, the type of fats consumed under this regimen poses significant cardiovascular risks. Harvard experts underscore the detrimental effect of a high intake of saturated fats, often leading to elevated levels of bad LDL cholesterol, a precursor to heart disease. In stark contrast, diets rich in unsaturated fats may offer cardiovascular protection. Dr. Frank Sachs, a professor of cardiovascular disease prevention at Harvard Chan School of Public Health, articulates, bad fats, meaning saturated and trans fats, can be found in fried foods, cakes, pies, and certain margarines. This statement underscores the inherent cardiovascular risks associated with the dietary fat quality in keto diet, painting a cautionary picture for long-term adherence. Moving on, number two, flexibility and adherence issues. The stringent macronutrient breakdown of the keto diet often demands meticulous planning, posing challenges for long-term adherence. The diet's restrictive nature can become a daunting endeavor over time, making it less appealing for individuals seeking a sustainable dietary approach. Conversely, intermittent fasting embodies flexibility with varied fasting regimes, promoting better adherence and sustainability. The focus shifts from stringent macronutrient distribution to manageable eating windows, rendering intermittent fasting a more user-friendly and long-term dietary strategy. This may really surprise you. Number three, metabolic effects. Both keto and intermittent fasting aim to augment fat utilization, albeit via different mechanisms. Intermittent fasting fosters metabolic flexibility, allowing insulin levels to fall, thereby enabling the body to utilize fat as fuel without excluding any specific macronutrients. The keto diet, however, necessitates a significant carbohydrate reduction, potentially leading to a state of ketosis, which, if unmonitored, could escalate to perilous levels, especially in individuals with type 1 diabetes. The concern regarding the long-term metabolic effects of keto diet, particularly its cardiovascular implications, casts a shadow over its long-term viability. Whereas intermittent fasting provides a balanced ground, offering similar metabolic benefits without the associated risks. The final two points are even more critical to know. Number four, appetite control. Effective appetite control is quintessential for long-term weight management. 
While the keto diet with its high fat content purports to offer satiety, the strict regimen may impede its effectiveness and appetite control over time. Conversely, intermittent fasting with its periodic fasting intervals may nurture a healthier relationship with food, offering a pragmatic approach towards appetite control without the need for continuous dietary restrictions. The final and the most dreadful issue with keto. Number five, risk of ketoacidosis. The keto diet's significant carbohydrate restriction can usher the body into a state of ketosis, which in certain cases escalates to a perilous condition known as ketoacidosis, especially in individuals with type one diabetes. This condition, characterized by dangerously high ketone levels that acidify the blood, presents a serious health concern. Conversely, intermittent fasting does not pose a risk of ketoacidosis, making it a potentially safer option for a broader demographic, including those with certain pre-existing medical conditions. So friends, do you agree to any of these points about keto diet raised by the Harvard research? Tell us about your opinion and experiences with keto diet in the comments section. And this is not just all. We are to bring more incredible facts and insights about your favorite diet plan. Subscribe to Shape Squad now and don't miss any of the vital updates from our channel. Press the like button with keto power and share the video with your fitness savvy friends too. Catch you guys in our next mind-blowing video for you.